Hello guys, and welcome back to Wilmers. Today, we found a giant polyphemus moth. Usually on Wilderness, we are finding animals by wandering around nature. Animals like to thrive in the few patches of wilderness in Salt Lake City. Although, a fair amount of the animals we film happen to be right in the middle of a sea or small town. Today, we just happened to come across a really cool animal without even trying. At first we thought it was a bat, but as we watched it we realized it was a giant silk moth known as the polyphemus moth. Okay, this is the polyphemus moth, and this is the biggest moth I've ever seen. It's huge. It's so big. And they actually can get from wingtip to wingtip 6 inches or 15 centimeters, which, in case you guys didn't know, that is a big insect. Um, it's just a gorgeous moth. And one thing that makes it so pretty is actually its defense from predators. You can kind of see, not very well, I'm being very gentle, it's just, um, I really don't want to hurt it, but you can see it's got these eye spots, and that is actually to deter predators. So when it does um, defense from predator, it opens out its wings like this, and it's got these eye spots, it's got these four eye spots, and that makes predators think that it's a face, this is a giant face, and they get scared by that, and they end up leaving it alone, but for the moth, he lives another day, and that is its main defense of predators, and frankly, that's what makes it so cool and pretty. Um, another thing that's cool about um, all moths is to distinguish a moth from a butterfly is you look at its wings. This guy's wings are flat, laid out flat, while butterfly's wings hold theirs up like this, more vertical, so that's kind of how you can distinguish a moth from a butterfly. Of course, he will rest his wings up sometimes, but it's not as common. Whoa! Jeez! <laughs> Hold on. You still recording everything? I'm gonna keep on the stick for now. It feels more, it seems like it's more comfortable. Like. When I say this moth's name, polyphemus, you guys might be thinking, well, that's a random word. Why do you call it that? Well, it's actually because, well, first of all, it's not so random. It's named after a cyclops called polyphemus. And similar to a cyclops, these guys. I guess not really, but it appears they have big eyes, just like a cyclops. And that is where it gets its name, polyphemus moth. It's named after a cyclops. And, I mean, the eye spots got one of the coolest parts about this moth. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Wilderness episode. Okay, let's go let this moth go.